Hey everyone, Mike of the Great Outdoors. Uh, I've got a really quick video here. I wanted to compare two coolers, uh, a Dometic and an Apicool. And I'll give a little bit more of the spe specifics here in a minute. But uh, really what I wanted to do was kind of compare a high-end cooler with a very low-end cooler. Um, the, the price is quite a bit different. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the temperature in them side by side uh, with the same amount of uh, items in the coolers. I'm going to measure how quickly they can get down to the temperature that it was set to. And then once they get down to that temperature, I'm going to measure how long each cooler can hold that temperature. So here's the two coolers. The Apicool, um, I've had this one for about two years. It is a 26 quart cooler. I have six cans of beverage on the inside of it. It is only a 26 quart cooler. And this is Dometic CFX335, which is a $880 cooler. It's a 38 quart, 12 volt, uh, and 120 volt. So, you know, there's no comparison to, you know, probably the quality and the functionality of the Dometic over the Apicool. But the Apicool uh, cooler again is $259. The medic is 880. So just to do a side by side, just how quickly they cool down and um, how long they hold the temperature. So what I'm going to do is I've got a probe in each cooler right now. And let's see. Ah, they're pretty close. We're about four tenths of a degree off. So the temperature is 68.9 on the Apicool and 68.5 on the Dometic. So I just have the lead going into each cooler. I will turn them on exactly the same time. I'm going to try to record this and I'll speed it up. So, you know, sitting here watching this, hopefully it'll just take a couple minutes when you guys watch. Um, but they both have six beverage cans. And I did want to show that they were approximately the same temperature when I turn them on. Now, there may be a couple seconds delay between turning one on to the other, but they're both already set to 40 degrees. So we're going to see uh, who gets to 40 degrees first. All right, so here we go. All right, closing the lid on the Apicool and turning it on. And it's on. Closing the lid on the Dometic and turning it on. All right, let's see what happens. Let me reset the timer here or show it. I'm sorry that it went to sleep here. There we go. A few seconds off. Shouldn't make a difference. Okay, we're almost 30 minutes into this, and the Apicool, which is the temperature on top, is slightly ahead of the Dometic, which is the temperature at the bottom. Uh, what I'm noticing, though, is the Dometic, uh, for some reason, it cycles in and out. Uh, you hear the uh, 
compressor run for a little bit and then it turns around and shuts off and then it runs a little bit. The Apicool's been consistent and has not shut down at all. So uh, we'll see uh, which one gets to 40 degrees first. We're 45 minutes into this cool down. Um, something I'm going to talk about here in a little bit is the temperature on the coolers does not match um, what is on my thermometer I have in them. Um, they're quite a ways off. Uh, right now the temperature on the Happy Cool is showing 36 degrees on the cooler and 47.8 on my thermometer and on the Dometic it's showing 41 degrees and on the thermometer it's showing 53 uh, and they're both still cooling down so they both cycle they go up and down they don't they will not stay exactly at the temperature that you send it or set it to it will go down below that a few degrees I can't remember three four or five degrees I think it's four actually and then it will uh, warm back up um, a few degrees so it'll cycle back and forth uh, right now the for the first time the Apicool just shut down it's showing 36 degrees and on my thermometer 48 on the Apicool and the Apicool is still cooling down a little bit so uh, we'll see what happens here Okay, to my surprise, uh, the coolers did not reach the temperature that I expect them to reach. Uh, I've set them both for 40 degrees. They uh, did not reach that temperature. Um, I'm not sure if it's the placement of the, the uh, thermometer within the coolers uh, or where mine, with respect to where mine are. Um, like I said, there's six cans of soda in there. Maybe it needs to run longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop uh, recording the way the temperature drops. And I'm going to let this run until uh, the morning. Right now it's like 8 p.m. And I will let it run until the morning. And we will check the temperatures in both of them. I will not disturb them. And uh, after I get done with that, then we'll do uh, a test to see how long they can hold whatever temperature they got in there. Um, but... Like I said, they're set at 40 degrees. We'll see what happens uh, in the morning. Uh, I want to show you the, the uh, temperatures on the coolers themselves real quick and compare them to my thermometer. So there's the Apicool temperature, 39 Fahrenheit. And on my thermometer, it's 51. And on the Dometic, make sure I, on the Dometic, it shows 37. And on my thermometer, I'm showing 52. So these leads are just hanging in there. They're not touching any sidewalls. They're not touching any of the cans or anything. So, like I said, I'll see what's going on in the morning with these. Again, Apicool is 51 on my thermometer. It's showing 39. The Dometic is 52. And it's showing 37. And both compressors have stopped running, so I don't think they're going to cool much down. Uh, anymore so that's great English there isn't it we'll see what happens in the morning okay it's so the next morning um, checked the coolers a couple times last night and found a couple things actually going on that I didn't expect um, I found it unusual last night that the thermometers weren't uh, syncing up they the one I was measuring with wasn't matching the ones on the coolers themselves so I checked the coolers a couple times last night, three or four times, I don't remember. And it seemed like the, the numbers were getting closer and closer. So uh, I'm going to show you what they're showing right now. 
Okay, here's the Epicool. It's showing 39 degrees. Sorry for the flicker. Can't help that. Uh, 39 there. And on the thermometer, it's showing 34.9. It just shut off. It just cycled. Uh, it was a little bit closer earlier. The top number is the Epicool. Bottom number is the Dometic 40.1. Let's check the Dometic real quick. 40.1. It's really close. Uh, a little bit earlier, uh, the Apicool was was closer. Uh, it was almost spot on. But they do cool up a few degrees above and below um, what what you set it for. It just cycles that way. Um, so you know, I would say they're pretty close to what they should be at the moment. So with that said. Uh, I'm going to go on to the second part of the experiment here, which I think is the more important one, which is to see which one stays cooler the longest. The first part that I was showing isn't something that most people are probably interested in on how quick they cool uh, or get to operating temperature, but I thought it would be interesting. So again, I'm going to set a timer up there. Uh, I'm just going to have a few shots at the time. I'm not going to sit there and continuously have the time showing. Uh, and we'll just see um, which one stays cooler longer. Okay, I am physically shutting off both coolers at the same time. Here we go. We're at three hours, and it looks like the Apicool has got the Dometic beat by a little bit. The uh, Dometic's cooled down to 48 degrees, and the Apicool's at 44. They weren't quite even at the beginning, but uh, I'm going to let this run for probably one more hour, and we'll see what the result is uh, after four hours of cooling down. Okay, well, this is where I'm going to stop the test. Um, the Apicool cooled down to 46, I should say warmed up to 46.6, and the Dometic is 49.8. It's going back and forth between 49.8 and 50 degrees. So these, they're pretty close, three degrees off from each other. Um, but, uh, you know, for four hours, I, th I think they both did really good. Actually, the Apicool did better than what I had expected. You know, and this test was not really to see which one was better or not. Uh, it was just curiosity to see which one would last longer, unplugged, which one would get cooler quicker. The, um, you know, the Dometic's a $880 cooler, and the Apicool is 259 I think, 260 something like that, and it's also two years old. So they did really good. Um, I'm really happy with the way they both worked. Um, don't have uh, anything bad to say about either of them. Uh, the Dometic definitely looks like and feels like a higher quality cooler. It's built very well and um, I think anybody would be happy with it, but they both have the same features and stuff. But the Apicool did pretty good. So last peek at the thermometer. All right. Epicool 46.8, Dometic 50 degrees, and they're warming up, and I'm going to open, open these up to show you what's inside. So just six beverages in each. So, and I think partially what, I think partially uh, the comparison um, between the two, the Dometic probably didn't quite keep up with it because it has a bigger space to keep cool and maintain and uh, than the uh, um, Apicool. So that might be part of it. But uh, So that will conclude this test. I appreciate you all watching. If you have any other ideas or suggestions or thoughts about this video, please put them in the comments because this was more playing around and just thought I'd share. Um, well, give me a shout. Subscribe. Mike in the Great Outdoors. Thank you for watching. And... 
Be safe out there.